Welcome back to Court Farms, but only this time it is the latest version. Before I was actually running the pre-release version, but now I have downloaded the, the latest version which is out publicly and I am now up to date. Now this is great obviously, but of course this has brought a few issues. Those being that because I've had to transfer the game, transfer the map, uh, a few things have changed. For example, all the animals we bought and all the feed we gave them have gone. So it's not the end of the world, but we're going to have to do them again. We still have our bales, so our silage bales and our straw bales. Obviously we'll still have to rebuy the animals, but I think in a way this is a good thing because um, I've had a, a long think about where we're going with the save game. And if I'm totally honest, and I'm sure a lot of you will agree with me, we weren't going far, especially in a hurry. Um, so yeah, I've had a, a really good think about it and I've, I've thought what is the best thing to do without being unrealistic. And basically what I've done is the core machines that we need, like a combine harvester, I have upgraded to the next model up, so nothing stupid, just the next one up to help us along because as you'll know that New Holland in this map is relatively small. So I have changed it and we're gonna have a look at that in a minute. Um, but I have also given ourselves £50,000. Hopefully no one disapproves of this too much, but I've just tried to do this to maintain the uh, the enjoyment of watching these videos, basically. I don't want to bore everyone. That is just my, my last thing that I want to do is bore everyone. Why would I want to make a video and then send everyone to sleep? Um, so yeah, I think this is probably the best option. Um, I'll, I'll just drive now instead of just standing around the yard talking to myself. But um, yeah, I think this is the best option. I think it was the best thing to do. So yeah, let's head over to the main yard. We'll have a look at what's different. I'm sure all of you will already know that, but we'll just have a look anyway. I have had a quick look, and to be honest, this is the first time I've looked at the latest version. I was so preoccupied with the current, well, the, the version which I had, um, I didn't even really think to look at the latest version because I, I already enjoyed the map so much anyway. But yes, it has. It's added a lot more detail. There's a lot more detail in the yard and also the minimap has changed. It's a lot more updated uh, and easier to use. And also I think the uh, pigs and the beef are now fully operational so we can get straight into that as well. Now we do have also all those bales in that field. All those straw bales need to be picked up. That was another thing which we had an issue with. I didn't have an auto stacker. We didn't have the money to get an auto stacker. So what I did is I downloaded the Marshall trailer edit by Bullet Bill, the fantastic ratchet strapping mod, uh, which allows you to actually strap them and auto stack them onto the trailer. I thought that would probably be the best thing instead of using the common Ursus stacker, because uh, I do use that a lot. So yeah, I think that will look good. And it also it looks very realistic as well when all the bales are nicely strapped onto the trailer, all perfectly aligned. It's just going to look a lot better. Um, but yeah, of course we'll have to unload them as well. If we're going to sell them, we'll just reverse it into the sell point. But if we're going to keep them, we'll use the front loader here and put them in a shed. But in here, you will see some changes. There are some noticeable changes. Not only to the map, but the machinery we have. Um, yes, where shall I put this? This, uh, as a lot of you did actually quite rightly point out, the feed mixer, this is obviously the bell shredder, the feed mixer doubles up as a, a straw mixer as well, so you can actually give the animals the straw through that. I don't usually do that though. I do prefer to use this. But yes, there is our Joskin trailer for the animals, the livestock. I have already re-bought the chickens, the fattening chickens, because they can just happily get on in the background. The cows and the sheep and the beef and the pigs will have to all be done separately. But yeah, you can see there are some noticeable changes with the sheds and some of the, the detailing over here. There's some more sheds there. But I'm sure a lot of you already noticed the change. You should have seen it from over there. Uh, we have got the case combine. And also we have the case tractor. This of course is the New Holland which I have been using way too much. So it's time to give this one a bit of a rest. We're not going to get rid of it. We're just going to give it a rest and we're going to move on to the case tractor. 
Hopefully we'll get some other tractors as well. I am looking at getting the Fent mod. So for those of you who like Fent, hopefully I'll be able to get them. Um, but yes, this is our case tractor. After all this time, I still can't remember the model number. The case Puma 160 CVX with Bullet Bill's Marshall trailer. Or Giants' Marshall trailer with Bullet Bill's fantastic script on it. Um, I went for the yellow. I usually have the red, so yellow is just a nice different colour. And there is our case combine, the 7130. It is a big combine, but it, it's the smallest next, it's the next size up, it, it's the second smallest in Farming Simulator without getting any mods. Ideally actually I would have liked to get some more class combines, but I haven't really been looking too much at mods at the moment. I thought that one would probably be the best, instead of getting mods which could potentially be glitchy. But anyway, first job of today is to open the gates because they're all shut. Because we've transferred the map, it's not remembered. So let's just get this thing open. Yes, what I meant to say though was the first job of today is to move the bales. I will of course do some on screen and some off screen. That needs harvesting. Those two fields there. Um, we'll probably open this actually from this side of the road. But I'm actually pleased that it has maintained our bales in the field because if we had done all that work and just lost them all that would have been disappointing and also you probably wouldn't have wanted to see me do a load more baling again because we've done that quite a lot recently. So let me try and remember how we do this. Loading type. Um, yes we want automatic loading and product type is straw round bales. That is correct. Good. So. Start loading is B, and I think there is a speed limit, so let's knock it right down to, we'll try 10, first of all. Now I know some of you might argue and say this is unrealistic, but you should know by now what my stacking skills are like. Um, so yes, we're just going to do it this way. As there are a lot of bales as well. I think this is probably going to be the best option for us at the moment. I'll come back for the ones in the hedgerows and the fences later. I believe it does a double layer. For ease of use, this trailer is just fantastic. And it just looks so much better as well. All the straps are nicely on there. Right, one more on the lower level. And then, yeah, I think it does one in the middle. One more layer in the middle. I might be wrong because I haven't really used it too much. I did it on Iron Horse. Oh no, it does a double. Two side by side. Must take a lot of bales then. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So 32 bales. Just spending most of my time there getting them out of the hedgerow. There we go. It's actually not It's not 32, it's 30. Because, yes, we can't have two more on the back, obviously, because otherwise I'll just fall off. But look at that. That is looking a lot better than any stacking I could do in a million years. That is very nice. I'm going to do a screenshot. I like doing screenshots of these trailers because it looks so impressive. There we go, screenshot done. That would be the thumbnail, which you'll have already seen. Right, I think we're going to have to put some beacons on and some lights because it is starting to go a bit dusk. Even though we're only going a very short distance, I think it's worth it. So yes, my plan now is for this series to really take off, give it a real good kickstart there. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping that it's going to become more enjoyable to watch, more enjoyable for me to play. Because the map is just fantastic, it's just the way I started it off with a lot of maps. I just didn't really do it the right way, I didn't make the right decision. But I think now we have, 
obviously there's going to be a few people who disagree with that, but hopefully the majority of you do agree. Um, like Sandy Bay, I've definitely done the right thing there. We started off with a number of expensive machines, and it means that the series is enjoyable to play, and it's enjoyable to watch, which is what I want really. So yes, this, this series, I'm really hoping the Court Farm series is going to be going for a long time, along with Sandy Bay. And then hopefully, I don't know when, but hopefully, the West Coast by Bullet Bill as well. Right, I actually took a second screenshot then, so that will have been the one you saw. I've probably already got a load of comments saying, that's not the screenshot we saw. <laughs> a lot of people actually do comment before they watch the whole video. Quite funny really, because... Like, um, a few days ago, the Ursus tractor on Sandy Bay needed fuel. And someone said, they must have watched about two minutes of the video, they said, uh, refuel the Ursus. And at the end of that video, I actually did refuel it. So, it's quite funny reading some of the comments. Okay, so, oh yeah, it's, the, uh, it's this unloading system. Um, you need to choose the side. And it should come up, I think it comes up with uh, a little red box. Ah, the unloading help might be good. There we go. We want it on the back, that's good. So if we put it in there, are we watching the price of the money? Or the money? Let's have a look. £320 per bale. Oh, and some of them didn't go in. We'll have to uh, push them in with the skid steer loader. But first let's just go and get the rest of the bales. I want to get them out of that field. I would like to get that field worked on now. Um, it's going to be potatoes. We're going to be doing some irrigating and um, we'll also be doing some more seeding somewhere else. Someone has actually given me the link to a roller so we can now roll after we've seeded. Probably uh, canola actually. We'll probably do canola and then we'll roll that. It actually acts as fertilizer in this game. It does the same thing. So of course you get a higher yield. So technically in Farming Simulator you wouldn't have to put any uh, fertilizer on the field. You wouldn't have to spray it or anything because it will already do that job for us but we could do if we wanted to. Right then, so here we go. This is the next load of bales. This won't fill the trailer again because there was a lot of bales. I am just going to crawl up and down this field, picking up bales as I go. And I'll also do a few jump cuts as well. Just get two more on. So I've speeded it up to 15 miles per hour. That seems to be the limit before it cuts you off. It certainly makes loading bales a lot easier. We are going to unload some of these though, we're not selling them all, because we do need to keep some. Probably the last load though, just depending on how many we've got left. I think these 30 that we pick up now will be all sold. There's two in the hedgerow. Okay, so that is 30, which has actually only left us with about 5 bales in the field, so obviously we're going to have to keep some of these ones. So what I'll do is, when we get back to the yard, we'll designate a shed for straw bales. We'll unload some with the skid steer loader if we can reach. I don't know if we'll be able to reach it. If not, the front loader. And then, we'll just sell the rest. And go from there. Good full load though. I wonder how much all this weighs. Could put it 
put it on the way bridge there. Some of you might not care, but I'm just wondering because I don't know how, don't know how heavy a bale is really. One of these ones. That's the tractor. The tractor is ten tons. Wow. Or is that the? Oh, that could be the whole thing. I was going to say because I thought a tractor was only about six or seven tons, depending on the size, obviously. Yeah, that sounds about right. I think. Ten point, almost ten point four tons. Right, without any further ado, let's get into our JCB loader, or skid steer loader. We will uh, push those bales into there, and we really do need to find a good place for our straw bales. And which yard as well, because this yard here is only for beef. Um, ideally we could do with some at every yard, but that might not be possible. Okay, so that's a little bit more money there. Now, there is our tractor. Hmm. The yard slopes a bit, so I don't want to put it in that shed. Don't want it over here. Um, obviously, that's the sell point. We could put it down the bottom, actually, just down there. There's a lot of space for turning round, so we could do, we could do that. What's in here? Oh, it's the workshop. Well, yeah, we probably wouldn't want it in the workshop if we're going to have gas torches and stuff around. That's probably not the best idea. I think in that shed there. That's what I did in Cobble Park Farm. I just put it in the corner. It actually works really well. So that's what I'll do. There's our bale trailer. I don't know how often we'll use that. I used it last time actually for moving the netting and wrap for the uh, crone baler and it actually works really well like that. So I'm not sure if you have to remove the ratchet straps or anything or if you can actually unload it manually at all or not, I'm not sure. We'll have to give it a go. If it doesn't work, I'll just reverse it half into the cell point, half will sell and we'll get half on the floor like we did just then. But hopefully, with a bit of luck, no. I guess there could be an option. There could be an option. Okay, so I have actually now worked out how to remove the ratchet straps. I put it onto manual loading, and then I just press unload products, and it kept them on the trailer. I don't know if that is the, the way to do it, but it obviously worked. Um, so, yes, what we'll do is we will remove some of them, not all of them, and we will just start to stack them in the shed. Now this should be quite easy. I, I'm not going to say too much, but this should be quite easy with a skid steer loader. Should be. Now I'm just thinking, because we have actually already detached these bales from the trailer, um, we are probably going to have to unload the entire trailer now with the skid steer loader because the automatic unloading will now not work as we have already removed the ratchet straps. I think. I think that is the way it works. I've only used this mod a few times and enjoyed it an awful lot every time we've done it, but I'm pretty sure once you've detached them, you can't then remove them to the side or the back of the trailer. Not totally sure on that, but I'm pretty sure that is the way it works. Anyway, things are looking up. So far, my stack looks half decent. I do all, I do have to keep coming out of cab though, just to make it a little bit easier. Oops. Spoke too soon. You may also notice that I'm not actually putting the bale all, all the way onto the spike. That is because I tend to get it stuck on there, so that is the reason why. It gives me more precision <laughs> in doing it this way. I'm quite impressed by that. I 
actually the skid steer loader is a fantastic tool it really does make unloading and loading a lot easier and you can be more precise with it definitely it is easier so how many do we need? I'm just trying to think the best thing to do here we need to get a decent amount otherwise it wasn't worth doing them because the money for them isn't amazing um, I want to get a fairly good stack in there Tell you what we'll do. We'll do. We won't come out any further. We'll come out. That'll be as far as we come out. But then we'll put obviously another layer and then another two on top. So that that should be enough for now. We can always produce more. We will also be doing court farms more than once a week now as well. I'm just a little bit unsure what I'm doing with farming diaries. It seems to have come to that stage now where not many people are that interested in it. I don't think so. I'm thinking, like I always used to do, two main maps a week, then have, uh, I, I think what I did um, this time last year, I had two maps on the go, and I did one week alternating, two episodes of one map, then three episodes of the other, and then vice versa the, the next week after that, to make it fair, and that actually really did work. Someone said that to me the other day, and they said they really enjoyed it when I did it like that, so I do agree. It was good, because at the moment when I do one episode of a map like this a week, you forget what you've done. So yeah, I think I'm going to go back to my old style. Obviously if you're new to the channel you won't even remember what that is, but that is what I used to do. Anyway, I think we are almost ready to sell the rest. Just got two more bales to put down. Gonna put one on top of each stack there. And then we're done. We just have to reverse the trailer into the cell point. Hopefully. Hopefully that works. This is probably where the stack falls down. Quite hard to reach to the back, but I should be able to do it, just about. Roll into position. Good, and the final bail. Quickly get this done. There we go. So yeah, I wouldn't want to stand next to it, but that is uh, good enough. That is going to be enough for us for now. Like I said, we will produce more. We'll do some more bailing in the future. Let's go and sell the rest of them. One did fall off. Get that shifted in a minute. Oh good, it does work. I just worried the trigger might be a little bit too low. But, yep. Come on, final bales. One more. Go on, get into the trigger. Yes, there we go. 
So £64,778. So there's five more bales to get, or thereabouts, maybe six. And then that is our job done. It's going dark. It'll be light next time we come onto this map, uh, which will probably be tomorrow actually. Pretty sure there's only five. Don't want to miss any though. Yep, that looks good. So back to the yard with these. We will sell them and then we'll buy some cows. Oh, and of course, I did keep the Matty Ferguson tractor. Such a good tractor for having around the yard. I think there would have been a bit of an uproar actually if I had sold that tractor or got rid of it. Because oh, it's just so well detailed and it's just such a handy little thing to, you know, if you just want to shunt something out of the way. Right then, so finally we want to put the marker up and then the unload side wants to be at the back and unload products. There we go. So, I think that is us done. We will move this later on because we're gonna we're gonna need the trailer again. Um, but for now, let's just go into here. Animals and cows, two and a half thousand pounds each. So again, they're, they're very expensive. We can't buy too many. We started off with five last time, so we'll start off with five again, which will still bring us down to fifty-three thousand eight hundred sixty-five pounds. But if you look at it one way. That has all been paid by, for them. That has been paid with the money which we've made today from the bales. So basically, we have transferred the, the, the bale money into potentially six cows, but we only bought five. Um, so I think that is actually a pretty good day's work after we have moved this bale. and put it in the cell point. And there we go. So yes, next time we will be doing a little bit of animal work, I think, but I really do want to concentrate now on the land. We want to do potatoes, because I want to do more irrigating. I now know how to use the irrigator mod properly. In my first video on Melbourne Estate, that was the first time I used it, except for a bit of a, a practice before. Um, and yeah, I didn't do everything perfectly. I had the general idea, but it wasn't amazing. Now I have been using it properly, and I do know how to use it. So, let's just jump this uh, <laughs> barbed wire. Uh, now we'll be able to actually do this field with the irrigator. And I want to get some potatoes in here. So that is coming up very soon in the future. And yes, the uh, field number four, which has been split in half by the road, um, that is obviously the rape, which is also ready. We can now put our case combine to work and we can get that harvested. And yep, I want to get some more crops in. I want to use the roller because I have never actually used the roller in Farming Simulator before. It is a mod, but yeah, Farming Simulator really does lack rollers, doesn't it? It's just, yeah. It seems bizarre that there aren't that many of them, but it's, yeah, I, I can't wait to use it. So yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of, a lot more work in the future. These episodes are going to become more exciting, hopefully, with a bit of luck. And um, yeah, there is a lot more to come. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode, and please do join me next time for more on Court Farms. Bye for now. <laughs>